Okay, so here I've got a beaker of uh, water and here's a beaker of isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to put just a little um, drop of each on the table. I'll put a little, a little puddle of water here. Pop that bubble. There you go, get rid of that bubble. And then I'm just going to put a little alcohol next to it. Okay, trying to put roughly the same amount. And what you should notice one thing right away, I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. So I'll spread the alcohol out and I'll spread the water out. It's gonna look kind of like it did with the glass slide comparison. So you can already see the much flatter um, sort of stain or smear of alcohol. And then the, uh, the puddle of water here, there's an elevation above the surface, but I'll just blow on them from the side and you'll also see how they move and also evaporate. So you can see how the water kind of travels together, the alcohol spreads out, and if I just fan it a little bit more just kind of gently with some paper here, you'll see the difference in the evaporation. You can already see that there's quite a bit of alcohol that has evaporated, whereas the puddle of water is basically the same size that it was before. So the rate at which these two liquids are gonna evaporate is also gonna be determined by their chemical properties and the intramolecular forces. That's it.